everybody, it's Theresa here. Um, if you're joining me from my previous two videos, which is the preparing for this, um, this soap and making the colorants for this soap, welcome back. If not, those two videos will be linked below. I'm making some soap for Halloween. It's just going to be some little leaves and pumpkins. I thought that would be cute. So, um, the recipe for this will also be below. Um, I showed you how I put it together in another video. So, it's like two videos ago. So, hopefully you've seen that. If not, you can go back and see it. Alright, so in here we have one ounce of castor oil, um, three ounces of coconut oil, ten ounces of olive oil, two ounces of shea butter. We have 5.2 ounces of water, 2.1 ounces of lye. We have one teaspoon of ta uh, sea salt, one tablespoon of... Um, one tablespoon of powdered sugar, 15 grams or one teaspoon of sodium lactate, and one tablespoon of kale and clay. That is all in here. Well, the lye oh, mixture this is This is our here. oils. This is our lye. This, the lye has the water, the, the, the lye, the salt, and the sugar. Everything else is in here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my lye in. Make sure when you mix your lye, you use a very big spoon, a long spoon. You don't want to stick your hand in to mix the lye. All right. Let's set that over there. Put that in our, my, our dirty bowl. You always should have a dirty bowl. And we're going to whiz this up. All right, so... I'm going to pour off some of the green. I don't really want a lot for the green. Pour off some for the yellow. These are just little accent colors, so, whoa! It doesn't need to be a lot. What is going on? I'm going to give it a little more yellow. Alright, so I'm actually going to take the colorant and add it into here. I should have made it in a smaller container. I wasn't thinking it through. I'm adding my colorant into my batter instead of the other way around like I did on the other two. Because I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. Alright, the uh, fragrance that is going to be in here is going to darken this significantly. So, um, this is caramel fragrance oil. Mm, maybe I should mix up the other two colors before I add that in. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know if the, I don't know if the fragrance oil accelerates. I know the recipe's good, it doesn't tend to accelerate at all. I know that it is. I've used it enough. I've, I've tested the snot out of this to make sure that I'm giving you a recipe that I am confident with. Um, but even still, even still, you need to test it. Test it, test it, test it to make sure it works for you because your house may be hotter, your oils may be different, you may... You know, anything could change the way that this recipe behaves. So, and I'm not responsible. Just so you know, that's a disclaimer. It'll be in the bottom. I am not responsible for the results. I cannot guarantee that your soap is going to come out. That is beyond me. There's no way possible for me to guarantee that. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and get this, the fragrance in the mass, my main batter... All right, so we're going to get that in. It's very dark, and it will discolor. I know it's going to discolor. There's no question. It is going to turn this bright orange, like a darker orange. Need to get this bell as clean as we can, because that is a uh, 
fragrance oil that does discolor so we really don't want that going into our next two colors and this is help. going to share this whoa okay get these used up just a tad bit setting up a little I think it's my fragrance oil so I know it's not my recipe because my orange is fine but my green and yellow are not there is a thing there all right so I think I'm going oh this green is thick, 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 thick. Thick, thick, thick. I'm trying to, oh, splatter it on myself. I'm trying to thin it, thick, thin it up. You see? That's just the fragrance oil. And there's also some ricing in there. Lovely. I've used this fragrance oil before and I do not recall it doing this. This is not what I wanted, guys. This is not what I wanted at all. The yellow isn't doing bad, it's just that green. Oh, well. Alright, so we're going to drop swirl this in. Get it all in there. I don't know if I can even drop swirl the green, but we're going to try it. Oh, it's going to blop. So we're going to blop it from high. Why not, right? Thank goodness this is for Halloween. All right, so I'm going to grab the orange spatula. Normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I would just let it do itself, but since that green is so thick, I'm going to swirl it a bit. I'm gonna set that to the side just for a moment. Is I want to try something here. And I don't so know. How I well just got a go. little bit of oil here. Like the tiniest, tiniest bit of oil. And I'm going to line the ridges of this mode with that oil. Didn't really need that much, but hey ho. All right, that's not gonna work. So we'll try our finger. are the soaps um they don't look pretty now but i'm pretty sure that they'll be just fine once they come out the backs are not the most beautiful things in the world but hey ho you know everyone has an ugly side to them i guess you could say i'm back to unmold these pumpkin soaps 
uh, pumpkin and leaf shake soaps that are sent in with um, it's a caramel fragrance and a fragrance called apple blossom um, it has been more than 24 hours I know I said I did it in 24 hours but yesterday was so hectic there was so much going on so I didn't get to so all I'm doing here is stretching out my um, silicone mold see if you can see the gaps on the side it kind of helps break that seal between the mold and the soap be able to uh, with this recipe if you use my the recipe I gave you you should be able to in theory no promises unmold in 24 hours um, but the longer you wait the better it'll be and here there's a little Thing. but here is the soap it turned out really well and I love the touch of gold in the you rings. can see so it's not soft at all it's not sticky or tacky at all and there is the mold itself so pretty clean I think that one's my favorite look at that marbling on there I love that one I didn't think that was gonna like them from from uh, the way it looked when they poured and from that way they look on the back but I am pleasantly surprised so this is my favorite I don't know how you're seeing it. <laughs> there, the, here are the others. There's some soap there. I grab a napkin. But they turned out well. <clears throat> they smell really good. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I promise you have my word. I already have the oils uh, master matched. You have my word. It will not be another month before I release another soap. So, thank you so much for watching. Happy soaping. Bye-bye. <laughs>